HCF of 60 and 102. To find the HCF, we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is, see, 60 here, 102 here. This is your step 1. Next. Last digit 0, so take 2. First number 6, when do we get 6 in 2 table? 2, 3 is 6. This 0 as it is down. So last digit 0, so take 2. First number 3, a number close to 3 in 2 table is 2 ones 2. 3 minus 2, 1, 1 carried forward 10. When do we get 10 in 2 table? 2 fives 10. Now 15 is 3 fives 15. 5 is a prime number, so 5 ones 5. The other number, last digit 2 e1, so take 2. First number 1, smaller than 2, so 2 numbers 10. When do we get 10 in 2 table? 2 5s 10. The other number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2 1s 2. Now last digit 1, not e1. So this number is not divisible by 2. Next prime number 3. To check divisibility by 3, for that we should add the digits. 5 plus 1, we get 6. Is 6 divisible by 3? Yes. So this number also divisible by 3. So take 3. First number 5. A number close to 5 in 3 table is 3 ones 3. 5 minus 3, 2. 2 carried forward 21. When do we get 21 in 3 table? 3 sevens 21. Now 17 is a prime number, so 17 ones 17. Therefore, our HCF is HCF is the product of the numbers which should be present here and also here, here and here. So now let us find the numbers which should be present here and here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So cut 2 right here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. Next number 5. Do we have 5 here? No. No more numbers have been left out. So our HCF is 2 into 3. 6 is our HCF. 